Hi everybody, in today's video I want to go ahead and give you a quick update on the latest news about the James Webb Space Telescope. All of its mirrors are finally fully aligned and this means that uh, they are now collecting fully focused light from space and directing it down into each scientific instrument. And then each instrument is also successfully capturing images with this perfectly focused light that is being delivered to them. And the result? this beautiful looking mosaic. This collection of images is a demonstration that each one of Webb's instruments is in focus and fully aligned with the telescope. And what we can see in these images is a portion of what is called the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a small satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. And they provide a dense field of hundreds of thousands of stars across all the observatory's sensors. But in order to appreciate how powerful the James Webb Space Telescope really is, I want to show you one amazing picture that I found on Twitter. It is a comparison between the different infrared space telescopes that have taken images of the same region. On the left hand side we can see what the region looks like from the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer which is a smaller infrared space telescope launched by NASA back in 2009. In the center, we see what the same region looks like in an image taken by the Spitzer Space Telescope. It is clearly less blurry and you can see a lot more details on it. However, it's nothing compared with what we can see on the right hand side with the latest image taken by the Webb Telescope. This is as clear an image as you can get, with exquisite detail which has surpassed even the most optimistic predictions from the team of engineers. Like you can see the dust and gas clouds as clearly as you can see any normal cloud in the sky on any given day. It's just uh, jaw droppingly awesome. Fantastic. All the synonyms that you can find on the thesaurus. <laughs> You know, when I heard that uh, many engineers had spent like 25 years working on the telescope, I was like, wow, I mean, 25 years is like your whole career, right? On just one project. But now I understand uh, the magnitude of what this team of amazing engineers and scientists worldwide have accomplished is uh, truly remarkable. And uh, the only thing I can say is hats off. So uh, what comes next for the Space Telescope? Webb's next and final step will consist in calibrating the scientific instruments. Each instrument has its own set of specialized tools like masks, filters, lenses, etc. that will be configured and operated in various combinations. And the goal of these tests is to confirm that the instruments are indeed ready for science operations this summer. Another part of this commissioning process will be to command the telescope to point to different areas in the sky where the total amount of solar radiation hitting the observatory will vary in order to confirm thermal stability when changing targets. Furthermore, every two days the alignment of the mirrors will be monitored so as to apply any corrections whenever needed. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and uh, thank you for being here once again. I will see you all very soon again in the next video. So, take care. Have a nice day, whatever you are, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.